Red is the color of love. So when we decide to make a quilt for someone special, we might decide to feature that color. Hi, I'm Andy from True Blue Quilts. Thanks for joining me today. Let's take a closer look at using red for a monochromatic quilt. Were you quilting back in 2011? If so, you may remember seeing information about a special quilt exhibit showcasing red and white quilts. The American Folk Art Museum displayed 650 red and white American quilts, all of which were on loan from the collection of Joanna S. Rose. It was the largest exhibition of quilts ever held in New York City. Unfortunately, I could not see the exhibit in person, but thanks to the internet, we can continue to enjoy these spectacular quilts. I'll put the link in the description below. The red medallion quilt was designed for my book, Monochromatic Quilts, Amazing Variety. Red medallion finishes at about 90 inches square. So it doesn't fit in the photo camera screen. I have it hanging up and it's dragging on the floor, but I wanted to give you a closer look at this. So I used these circular blocks in the center and just framed them and did some simple patchwork in the alternate spaces just to really give you a place to play with all those gorgeous red fabrics and computer screens cameras they don't really capture the true color of reds you know we we all know that there's a huge variety and you have to see fabric in person to get the pure picture of it. Um, cherry fabric, of course, or apples or any of those red fruits are going to be fun to include in your quilt. There's some batiks there and this really light mottled red. Then we have some burgundy and this really dark print that it has some variation in it, but also has that red tone on tone and some polka dots, some swirls there. And hopefully you can see some of the quilting. I did these uh, flowers, these spiral flowers there. There's a little bit better view of the quilting coming in and on the lighter blocks you can tell I did big feathers big feathered wreaths in those corner blocks and here are some of the border fabrics and you can see the wreath quilting a little bit better in that block and I did a kind of a flame stitch there in the center of that block. So I really had a lot of fun with the red medallion quilt and I'm ready to make another one half size with um, smaller blocks there. So, and maybe some different color choices. So I'd love to know what color you think I should use for a different version of the red medallion quilt. If we stray from the strict definition of monochromatic quilts, we can see that red plays a part in some other traditional color combinations. Let's see how red plays with these other colors. If we find red on the color wheel, we see that it is opposite or complementary to green. The typical Christmas colors tend to be bright shades of red and green, but recently we see popular trends of a more burgundy red paired with a dark forest green, or even this modern palette with pinks and oranges and greens. When I am working with a patriotic color scheme of red, white, and blue, I carefully place the reds and blues in my quilt block because dark shades can read as similar. 
Have you ever looked at a pleasing mix of colors in black and white and been surprised that everything turns to the same shade of gray? Be sure to mix strong reds with lighter blues, especially if the fabrics are touching in the final layout. It's time to go stash diving. You can see these are the fabrics I had pulled out for the monthly color challenge. And I will talk about those in just a minute. You can see those blocks put together. But this is my bin of red fabric. Quite a bit, quite a variety. I've grouped it with some pink, so we won't worry about those. Um, I, I'll talk about this in the monthly color challenge block. And here's a nice uh, tone on tone red. Uh, this is grunge, a nice Christmassy red. I love the texture that using grunge brings to your projects. And again, uh, uh, this one has a little bit more of an orange to undertone there. And here we have some of my darker reds that have that burgundy undertone but that rose print is lovely and of course patriotics so you're going to find all shades of red with creams and golds and blues um, another bright floral there that has the burgundy background and a brighter lighter shade there here is a tone on tone print this has a darker red again you've got that bright um, orangey looking red and a more burgundy red uh, complementing each other in this print um, you, this may be, work as a light red it could look pink or peach here's another example of a peachier red that just you know when you when you look at them next to what I consider a truer Christmas red, they, you can definitely see that those are different shades. It may work if you're building a monochromatic pattern, it may not. Just all depends on your personal preference and where it's going in the block. Uh, another cherry print fabric that's really pretty, it has that metallic print. This one strays a little bit into the pink shades. Here's another big bold floral looking pattern that combines that light with more of a burgundy shade. Um, this fabric looks like, I'm showing you the back, it looks like it was over dyed. It might have been a light uh, a black on white print and then it was over dyed with red, but that's a really fun print. Um, again, more Christmas fabric stripes, you can see um, the color play there with a white background and this fun, fun, fun floral scroll print. Sorry, those little threads always distract me. Um, and But this is a really fun fabric that you could mix in with multiple colors because you've got the dark red in the background, you've got some lighter reds and um, orangey peachy shades in some of the scroll work and then you've got this fun bright pink almost purple section so really fun to find variegated fabrics as we move into more of the pink fabrics we've got this cute floral that's definitely red white and pink I've got this uh, valentine's with the little candy kisses um, in red various shades of red and pink there, um, fun red and black. You can just find all sorts of big, bold reds that really show off the various shades of red that you can include in your quilts. Here is the block from the 2022 September monthly color challenge. I decided to use this modeled metallic print for one of my blocks and I actually didn't have a big enough scrap of this lighter 
print so I made the corners this darker red and you can see how I played off both the dark and the light from that first red fabric that I chose to create that framed square kind of block. So that was the 12 inch block and for the monthly color challenge I always like to make smaller blocks, the six inch version. And for that one, I chose a smaller print and it has a lot of white in it. So obviously it reads as a lot white, lighter red fabric. And again, I found a tone on tone polka dot there that you can see for one version of my six inch square. And here is the other version. And I, my plan is always to reverse the placement of light and dark fabric, but this is a light fabric with the flowers in white, and this is a light fabric. So I didn't really achieve my goal, but I used a print for the accent square in the darker version and the tone on tone as the accent fabric. So I kind of reversed the placement there. But again, uh, matching these reds was a bit of a challenge. This darker print just has that burgundy tone and this isn't an exact match, but I, you want the contrast in your quilt blocks. So I just went for it there, but it can be pretty tricky to get those reds to blend nicely. For the 2021 monthly color challenge, when the block was assigned to red, I decided to play with my backgrounds and alternate the black and the white. And you can see the difference if I isolate the blocks here. If we focus just on the light variation, that gives us a really clean, crisp look with that red fabric. If we move over to the dark fabric, we're using the same red. It carries on that darker tone and the red actually becomes even more dramatic. So. Let me show you again here with side-by-side -side blocks. Same shade of red, but it just plays a little bit differently with dark or light backgrounds. And I'd love to hear from you if you've ever used a surprising choice for a background. Are you a fan of light quilt backgrounds or do you sometimes get adventurous and go for that dark look. Tell me in the comments below. Have fun making a red hot quilt. If you need more tips for selecting fabrics for a monochromatic quilt, watch this video next. I share my step-by-step -step process for building a monochromatic fabric palette and I do share some more beautiful quilts. I'll see you in the next video.